Hello and welcome to the Patient Education Series. My name is Christian, I'm an optometrist, and the aim of this series is to provide some information in plain English to those who want to know more about common eye conditions. Perhaps you've been told that you have cataract, glaucoma, or macular degeneration, and you're not quite sure what that means. Or perhaps you want to support a relative or friend. My hope is that after watching these short videos, you'll have a clearer understanding of various eye conditions and I'll offer some helpful tips to support you. I welcome your suggestions for any topics you'd like me to cover in the future. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe so that you're kept up to date as new videos are released. Hello and welcome to the patient education series. This time we're going to talk about macular degeneration. In a nutshell, Macular degeneration is degeneration of the macula. The macula is a part of the back of the eye that gives us really clear vision right in the centre. So as that becomes affected, it's more difficult to recognise people's faces or perhaps a book that we're trying to read. There are two types of macular degeneration. The dry type, which is a gradual ageing change that we all get, and the wet type, which is a different condition which can affect our vision very quickly. For those who want to know more about macular degeneration, I'll now go into a bit more detail. Let's start off with some basic eye anatomy. Here you can see the front part of the eye. Behind it is the lens, which is where cataract forms. And right at the very back of the eye, you can see this dark maroon line, which is called the retina. The retina is a bit like the film in a camera. It captures the information that we're looking at. And in the very centre of the retina is a part called the macula. As light comes into the eye, it passes through the front of the eye, through the lens, and lands on the macula at the back of the eye. If we then look at the macula in a bit more detail, using what's called an OCT scan, this is something that your optometrist might have offered you, we're here actually looking at individual layers of the retina in, in a lot of detail. And what you'll notice is this bright line is one we're particularly interested in, which is quite smooth. In this patient with macular degeneration, the white line becomes a bit thicker and you'll see it starting to get a bit lumpy and bumpy. And this is where waste materials are building up in that area, which is what we see in macular degeneration. This is a normal aging change. When the optometrist looks into your eye by shining the light, this is what they'll see. So this is the macular area here, and within it, what you'll see are these little yellow spots. And these are those waste products I was just talking about building up um, in the macular area. Well, how does that affect you as a patient? What might you notice? Firstly, you may find reading gets more difficult. You might find yourself reaching for a brighter light to make reading easier. You may find that when you're looking at something or somebody, right in the centre of the vision is less clear. And you may find that straight lines look like they're slightly kinked or bowed. There are a number of risk factors for developing macular degeneration. Some of them we can do something about, others we can't. As I've already mentioned, it is a normal ageing change in the eyes that we all get if we live long enough. Smoking is a risk factor. If you have a family history of macular degeneration, you're more at risk of getting it. Obesity and inactivity are also significant risk factors for macular degeneration. If you've been told that you have macular degeneration, what can you do about it? Well, a lot of this is around prevention. So stop smoking, as we've already mentioned, and a healthy lifestyle. A diet which is low in saturated fat and cholesterol and rich in antioxidants. There are even some dietary supplements, so you might want to talk to your optometrist about those. There's some evidence to suggest that UV protection helps to reduce the onset and progression of macular degeneration. So a decent pair of UV safe sunglasses and perhaps a hat with a peak or a brim when you're outside to stop the amount of sunlight getting into your eyes. In terms of glasses and visual aids, a stronger pair of reading glasses will probably make it easier to read, 
although as it gets stronger you have to hold it closer so just be aware of that we've already touched on good light and that will make a difference it will enhance the contrast of the page and over time the macula itself as the wear and tear progresses the vision can become worse and some patients do require a magnifying glass or other more formal type of visual aid. To conclude this video I'd like to talk briefly about the wet type of macular degeneration. So far we've been focusing on the dry type. It is a different condition to dry macular degeneration and if you have a look at the picture over here you'll see instead of those yellow spots that we saw on the earlier photo we can now see blood vessels which are leaking this red stuff and this is scarring forming in the center of the macula. The reason this is happening is because in the wet version, these new fine blood vessels actually grow underneath the macula and they leak and scar. The symptoms can be similar to dry macular degeneration. So reduced vision in the center, distortion, but this will happen over days or weeks rather than months and years. The risk factors for wet macular degeneration are similar to those for dry macular degeneration. And in terms of treatment, well, first just talking about prevention. That's again similar to dry macular degeneration. So it's the lifestyle, the dietary changes, um, giving up smoking. But this condition actually can be treated if it's caught early enough. So actually an injection is given into the eye itself which will stop the little blood vessels which are underneath the macula from growing and leaking. It's important to do this as quickly as possible before it starts to scar. Once it's scarred, there's not really much you can do about it. So early detection of the wet macular degeneration is really important. So if you start to get more distortion in your vision, or if you notice that your vision is suddenly going downhill, please go and see your optometrist at your first convenience so that they can see if you have the early stages of wet macular degeneration. Thank you for watching this video on macular degeneration. I hope you found it helpful.